Okay, so that run, we've done a little bit more optimization in the top end. As you can see in our last run um, on the dyno, we were producing about 20 horsepower at 100 miles per hour on the dyno. And uh, we, we made a couple more adjustments and we were able to get a little bit more out of it. So now we're showing at 100 miles per hour, 24 horsepower and I pulled it clear to 106 miles per hour, still making 24 horsepower. So we're not falling off on the power as much anymore, just a tiny bit from 26 down to 24, but we are maintaining a lot more power. That's a gain of four horsepower at 100 plus, and it's not waning off. So uh, I think we're hitting the sweet spot now with this configuration, and we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and wrap this up. The dyno test was successful. Everything did what it's supposed to do. We didn't see crazy temperatures or anything. It was a nice extended pull. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up and we're gonna make another attempt on the street again to, to make that number. So uh, stay tuned, really excited. This thing is just keeps getting better and better and it's, it's fantastic. All right, here we go. Here's the GPS, the Garmin, to back it up. 102 miles per hour. Not 100, 102. Garmin backed up GPS and Draggy. So I have the Draggy showing 102 and the Garmin GPS showing 102. I think I'm the fastest now, guys. So there you go. That's a good top speed run i think that validates it pretty well both gps on the garmin and gps on the draggy both getting satellite gps at the same time both simultaneously simultaneously verifying 102 miles per hour i can't say enough about this setup it just goes now one of the big questions that i keep getting from everybody is does it accelerate because everybody's like oh well what good is you know a top speed if you can't accelerate and uh, it's probably got no bottom end and i'm never flooring it uh, out of the hole. I'm never just going full throttle because one, it just does massive wheelies no matter what. And two, I've been kind of curious on where the belt is gonna hold up and I don't wanna strip the belt before I actually get the number. So I got the number. So I went ahead and made a draggy, a couple of draggy uh, acceleration runs. The, the only one I could really get uh, that I stayed in it it, it was just wheeling and wheeling and wheeling. So it's not super impressive, but it's there. I wanted to show it to you guys just so you guys could have a point of reference on exactly what to expect acceleration wise with the same gearing, no other changes, same 102 mile per hour bike, uh, just doing acceleration rips. So check it out.
bad if you if you think about it. I, I should have tried to hold it for a full quarter mile, uh, but as you can see on the screen, we did pretty decent. Even with the massive wheelieing that it was trying to do, uh, it still knocked off a 5.40 to 60. Um, and uh, eighth mile 9.0 at 78, it would have definitely been faster if I would have been able to stay on it. A thousand foot was 11.8, so it was on its way to like a, I don't know, high 12 second, 13 second quarter mile. It was pretty wild for electric bicycle. Uh, but anyway, huge shout out to Darwin EV. The battery on this thing, awesome. Fits perfect. If you haven't seen the other videos, the install and stuff, go check it out. Get yourself a battery. This is a new style battery they just came out with. This is the prototype that I'm using. It is a metal case. So everything is done really well, very safe. Uh, and it's, it's not their highest performing. They actually have some bigger, better options, believe it or not, which we may end up trying. But this one is a, a pretty good offering uh, with the alpha cells and the uh it's a it's a 72 volt uh 42 amp hour so it's a it's a pretty good battery and um also torque motors hey come on i'm a believer now i'm a believer for sure uh the bac 8000 was really my go-to and i i gave them a lot of a lot of shit. i was like this better be better this better be better and they guaranteed me it would be and they delivered it is it's better uh overall for my setup for what i'm doing so far i can't say enough about this setup easy to install super easy to install uh anyone can do it these are off the shelf parts just if you want to if you want to call darwin ev ask for the jack cecil setup he'll get you set up we'll get you everything you got right here on this video and you can do the same thing so anyway hope you guys enjoy this I really have enjoyed this series and building this bike and I'm going to continue to enjoy riding it. And that's not the end of this. Trust me, we've got some more goodies we're going to throw on this thing and enjoy it a lot more. But for now, that's going to do it. So I will see you guys in the next one and stay tuned for the next project because I have some other ideas, some more electric bike stuff, some more uh, EV stuff that we're going to be doing. And I can't wait to show you. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.